Hello, welcome to Econometrics Melody. In this video, we will derive the beta estimate for partition regression. Up to this point, we have know about the projection matrix as well as the residual or error maker matrix. And we know that both of the projection matrix as well as the error maker matrix, they are idempotent matrix exhibiting these features. They are symmetric as well as the square of the matrix is equal to the matrix itself. Projection of Y on X, this is equal to the fitted value of y and projection of x on x this is x itself and projection of the error term on x this is equal to zero because the error term and x they are orthogonal similarly when we regress y on x we get e is error that is the residual term and if we regress x on x then the residual is zero similarly if we regress the residual term with x then we get the error is our residual projection matrix and error maker matrix they are orthogonal and we have splitted y into two parts is the projection of y on column space of x one part and the other part is the residual or the error term therefore y is equal to py plus my so in other word we can say that this error term this represents the unique part of y that is free from the influence of x and in this video this concept is going to be very very useful so the residual is that portion of y attained after netting out or the parceling out the effect of x similarly if m1 is the error maker matrix when we regress any variable on x1 and if x2 is any other matrix then m1 x2 is a residual matrix which provides the unique values of of x2 after partialing out the effect of x1 because m1 this error maker matrix it contains x1 it is a function of x1 similarly if we have m1 x3 then we get the residuals that is the residuals from OLS regression so the residual in this case represent the unique portion of x3 that is free from the influence of x1 this concept is going to be very very useful for today's topic that is to calculate the beta of partition regression equations and we use the OLS estimates for that here matrix X it contains two matrix so we have partitioned this matrix into two part matrix X1 and matrix X2 matrix X1 contains the vectors or the variables I for the constant term and variables X1 and X2 and matrix X2 it contains from variable X3 to XK minus 1 and similarly the beta estimate for these two partition matrix X1 and X2 are beta 1 and beta 2 respectively represented by this vector beta which element is the vector of beta itself and beta 1 represents the OLS coefficient for matrix x1 partition matrix x1 and beta 2 it represents the OLS coefficient for matrix x2 and this beta represents the overall beta estimate when we regress y on matrix x similarly the error maker matrix when we regress the variable with the matrix matrix x1 is given by m1 and the error maker matrix when we regress the variable with matrix x2 is represented by m2 and p1 and p2 are their projection matrix the linear regression in matrix notation is given by y is equal to x b plus e and in place of this x we have used its partitioned matrix and similarly we have used the partition beta this beta 1 and beta 2 are the vectors itself let us expand it and we attain the value of a beta estimate for OLS regression from this relationship that is when we set our first order derivative to zero we get this relationship we want to mimic this situation so let us pre-multiply both the sides by x1 transport and is the independent variable is orthogonal to the error term so their dot product is zero therefore in this case x1 transpose e should be equal to zero and x2 transpose e should also be equal to zero they are orthogonality condition if that is true then we are left with and if we pre-multiply this equation by x2 transpose then our result would be so we have derived equation 2 learning from equation 1 now let us calculate the value of beta 1 from equation 1 and let us substitute it in equation 2 from equation 1 
therefore beta 1 this is equal to x1 transpose x1 inverse x1 transpose y minus x1 transpose x1 inverse x1 transpose x2 beta 2 now let us substitute the value of beta 1 in equation 2 so in equation 2 we have x2 transpose y this is equal to x2 transpose x1 and in place of beta 1 we are going to write as plus x2 transpose x2 beta 2 now let us expand it again so we know that p1 this is equal to x1 x1 transpose x1 inverse x1 transpose so wherever we see this expression we are going to write age p1 x2 transpose y so this is equal to x2 transpose up to this point it is p1 p1 y minus x2 transpose again this much is equal to p1 p1 and we are left with x2 beta 2 now let us arrange it according to our requirements so we have x2 transpose common in the pre multiplication term similarly we have y common in the post multiplication term so we are left with i minus p1 Again, we have x2 transpose common in the pre-multiplication side and we have x2 beta 2 common in the post-multiplication side and we are left with i minus p. So we know that i minus p1, this is equal to m1, the error maker matrix m1. So this is given as x2 transpose m1y is equal to therefore beta 2 this is equal to x2 transpose m1 x2 inverse and x2 transpose m1 y in the similar fashion we can say that beta 1 this is equal to x1 transpose m2 x1 its inverse and x1 transpose m2 y So let us see what does m2 x1 mean actually m2 it contains x2 this is equal to and this is our residual matrix so we get the residual so this gives us the residual after regressing each column of matrix x1 with matrix x2 so from this relationship we get the residual that is the portion of x1 which is free from x2 that is from x1 we parcel out the effect of x2 for each column of x1 we run a regression on x2 and that is why we parcel out the effect of x2 from x2 x1 and this residual term it gives us that portion of x1 in which the effect of x2 has been parcelled out so let me explain this in terms of residual so this is equal to is m2 they are the eight important matrix we can use this property So this is how we are going to calculate the value of beta 1 and beta 2 in case of partition regression. So we will see this by the help of example in each data as well. Now let us move into another topic. So matrix W it contains the independent variables where X contains so many other variables while J is a single variable and the beta coefficient it is given by D where B contains the beta coefficient related with independent variables of matrix X and for this single variable J the coefficient is C it is a scalar. Now making use of the partitioned beta estimate formula we can calculate the value of c and then let us write the error maker matrix associated with matrix x so this is equal to so this c estimate of c this can be calculated as j transpose m j inverse j transpose m y if j asterisk is given by m j then this is equal to again we partial out the effect of x from z so mz means we get the unique portion of z after partialing out the effect of x so this is again the residual if we want to write it in terms of residual then recap this is equal to 
So this is our individual regression coefficient and we will see it by the help of example in Stata. First of all, let us prepare our data set and we have created our dependent variable y as well as four of the independent variables. And when we run a regression without partitioning it, we get this beta estimate the constant and for the four of the independent variables these are the beta estimates now let us partition this matrix or these variables into two matrix x1 and x2 is one matrix and x3 and x4 is another matrix and we want to calculate the estimate of x3 and x4 making use of partition regression so for that we need to partial out the effect of x1 and x2 from each of x3 and x4 so we are going to do that first of all we are going to partial out the effect of x1 and x2 on x3 and we are calculating the residuals and we have named it is the residual 3 for variable 3 after partialing out the effect of x1 and x2 similarly from variable x4 let us partial out the effect of x1 and x2 so we run a regression and we calculate the error term so this is the residual that we get so this residual has some portion of x4 that is free from the effect of x1 and x2 now let us run the regression of y y is dependent variable and the residual terms for variable x x3 after partialing out the effect of x1 and x2 and the residual of variable x4 after partialing out the effect of variable x1 and x2 and this would give us the beta coefficients for variable x3 and x4 and if we compare them we should get the same result so we calculated the beta estimate after running the regression of y on the either of variable x3 after partialing out the effect of variable 1 and 2 as well as the either of x4 after partialing out the effect of variable 1 and 2 so these are the results and for the normal equation so these are the coefficients and if we compare it so the coefficients are same for variable 3 and 4 here we have used the dependent variable y itself otherwise we can partial out the effect of x1 and x2 from this y also and let us do that as well here we are going to partial from this dependent variable y we are going to partial out the effect of x1 and x2 and that is given by the error term when we regress y on variable x1 and x2 so this is our residual term now let us uh, regress the residual of y when we partial out the effect of x1 and x2 from it and the independent variables are the residual of variable 3 after partialing out the effect of x1 and x2 and the variable 4 after partialing out the effect of variable 1 and 2 now let us see the result so this is our general OLS regression without partition and for the second one we have y is our dependent variable and the errors of variable third and fourth after partitioning out the effect of variable x1 and x2 and if we compare the coefficient x for x3 and x4 they are same and for this case the dependent variable is the residual term after parceling out the effect of x1 and x2 from variable y dependent variable and the independent variables are the residuals for variable 3 and 4 after parceling out the effect of x1 and x2 and if you compare beta estimates are same for variable x3 and x4 the first one it is the general regression and the second one and the third one they are the derivation for the same making use of partition integration so this is it for this tutorial thank you very much for your time thank you very much econometrics marley